marriage, mating, and the age-old mystery of the universe. The secret of the attraction that draws one individual to another. This attraction is exercised by almost all living creatures and can be discovered even among the lower forms of life. Now take mold, that curious plant that grows and crawls about decaying things. Now mold is most particular about whom it marries. It grows forward hoping to find a life partner. But if the stranger turns out to be a relation, they don't dream of marrying for fear of weakening the family strain. They just have a cousinly embrace, as they're doing now. Then each goes on with its romantic search till it meets a stranger. Now both advance warily. Then, being attracted to each other, they approach. And unite in a perfect embrace. Mole can choose its partner because unlike most plants, it can move about. But the ordinary plant, anchored by its roots, opens its flowers as a proposal of marriage and has to wait for the chance visits of bees who act as matchmakers between the flowers. Relying upon someone else to arrange one's matrimonial affairs is often a depressing business, as these two seem to feel. We're at least six hours old, they say, and we're not married yet. On the other hand, creatures that can move about like this gay bachelor, the praying mantis, get themselves up to kill. Indeed, most creatures, before going courting, take a lot of trouble over their appearance. As a preparation for his wooing, the hunting spider wriggles out of his shabby old coat and appears in a bright new suit. Not trusting entirely to the effect of a smart appearance, he abandons his old coat while he goes out and catches a nice juicy fly. Oof! This love gift he rolls up neatly in silk. Present giving is a well-recognized move in courtship, but wrapping up the gift often presents terrible difficulties to the well-meaning but clumsy lover. When he has managed to get his present arranged pretty well to his liking, he goes off with it and offers it to the first attractive female that he meets. He points out how alluring it is, but at first she pretends she doesn't want it. Indeed, shyness upon the part of the lady in accepting presents is another well-known move in courtship. And this pretended coyness is not confined to the spider world. What's yours? I don't know. However, he persists, and at length she decides that this is as good an offer as she can hope to get in these difficult times, and the gift is accepted.